It looks like I'm trying hard. Okay, I've got to pick a position that I can sit. Hello, and welcome to The Good Life, a Kadeja kind of normal. My name is Kadeja, and I'm so happy you're here. This video is a really long time coming. I last vlogged in what, like 2017? And when I tell you that so much has changed since then, I mean so much. Can you give us a smile? <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job. Happy, happy new day. Happy new long day. April 4th, oh, 15th. <laughs> You're breathing. You're breathing on your own. So you might be wondering why now? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't seen that cheesy quote that was floating around. And for a while there, it was chalk painted on every wooden surface and embroidered into every single decorative pillow. If not now, then when? If not you, then who? Now, don't y'all tell nobody I said this. But even though that quote is like super extra cheese level, it's also kind of a bar. If I didn't restart my vlogging journal now, I honestly probably never would. I am an expert, an expert at coming up with excuses not to do things. Sure, the excuses are valid and true, but there's still excuses at the end of the day. The truest excuse of them all is that I've been scared. Scared that I can put my all into this and never see any sort of measurable success from it. Scared that I'll never be able to be consistent with this since I would be managing this as well as all the symptoms from my myriad of disabilities. Scared that my interests are so all over the place that it'll be too chaotic for people to keep up with or to want to keep up with. Scared that my life just isn't exciting enough for people to want to watch. Scared, honestly, that people will find my real life and my reality just kind of depressing. And even scared that I'm just not pretty enough to film myself in my natural state like vlogging requires you to do. All these fears and worst case scenarios just have a habit of running through my mind in a loop every time I even think about picking up a camera to start recording myself. What made me follow through picking up the camera this time is that I really allowed myself to sit with those fears and flesh them out instead of tucking them away like I usually do. So what if my YouTube doesn't pop off and I don't make money from it? Should that make me feel bad about my life and less happy with the life that I'm living? Absolutely not. Since I moved out on my own for the first time back in January of 2022, I've managed to keep my lights on. I've kept food in my fridge and I've kept my really super speedy fast internet so that I can watch all my streaming services. When I tell you I'm good. Yeah, but no, 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 no. I said I'm good, bro. So what if I can't be the algorithm friendly version of consistent? I got a lot like a lot of different health needs that have to take priority over everything else. So it's inevitable that some things will need to fall by the wayside. And I'd rather that be my YouTube channel, my social media presence than, you know, the brand spanking new lungs in my body. <laughs> That's simply the reality of my life. And the hope is that I'm able to build a community of people and viewers who understand that. So what if all my different interests might be a little too chaotic for people to follow along with? That just might be the thing that keeps things exciting. People can come for what they want and what they need, you know, eat the meat and spit out the bones. It's a Kadasia kind of normal, not anybody else's. So what if a lot of people wouldn't call my life exciting? I enjoy my life for the most part. I don't have a car, but I'm really a homebody anyway. So I've set up my living space to be everything that I need and want to be comfortable. I absolutely love being home. 
and I love living in this home that I've created for myself. And my dog's not complaining. She loves this life too. And sure, I wish I had a car. It would make things easier, but I got myself a sweet, sexy, sick, three-wheeled ride that has everybody around here jealous. You can't tell me that everybody ain't jealous of my hot wheels. So people might think that my life is depressing. Well, I'm disabled. I have cystic fibrosis, I have diabetes, I have scoliosis, I had a double lung transplant at 25 years old, I developed arthritis at about 27 years old, I deal with chronic pain from all of the above every day of my life, and I deal with depression and anxiety on a day-to-day -day basis. That's all really sad. And I'm not here to spread some toxically positive message that if I can be happy, so can you. This life sucks sometimes. It does. I'm here to show my real life good and bad. The hope is that folks can recognize the balance that I'm constantly searching for. But if that's too much for some folks, how can I be mad at them for wanting to protect their mental health? I can't. And lastly, so I'm ugly. And what that mean? I'm still a person and a good person at that. One of my favorite books I listened to in 2023 was called TJ Prowar Has Something to Prove. It was written by Jasmine Cowardio. I know I butchered that. I know that I did. And what I loved so much about the story was that it took that platitude of everyone is beautiful and it really flipped it on its head and just challenged it outright. Everyone isn't beautiful, but so what? Does being ugly mean that you don't deserve respect, love, or to want anything good in your life? Nah, fam, like that ain't it. I'm not disgusted when I look at myself in the mirror and children don't typically run away from me screaming. And if they did, maybe they just need to toughen up or something. I don't know, but I can't make that my problem. My face is my face and it's always gonna be my face. I'm not chopping and screwing this face up. Who got the time for that? Who got the money for that? And who wants to do that? Not me. If not me, then who? I mean, you've probably gathered that I've lived quite the life thus far. No one has my story. I've learned a whole lot in my 30 years, some by choice and some just kind of thrust upon me. And I know that there's still a lot more left on this curriculum that I'm going through. My story thus far has had a whole lot of plot twists. So I gotta invite y'all along because who don't love a good plot twist? And all of that is why I'm here and why I'm here now. As I've already mentioned, I can't promise consistency or super exciting things happening all the time, but I can promise to be as real as possible whenever possible. And that we're gonna have a good time because I'm a good time. Now, before you click off, be sure to, you know, mosey on down there, click that like button, and then, you know, scoot on over, click that subscribe button, and then scooch a bit more over and hit that good, good notification bell. That way, you're always notified when I come on here to tell y'all something. And also, you know, go a, little, go a little further down and check out all the links that I've put in the description. Like I said, I be doing and up to a lot of different things. So there's a lot of good stuff sprinkled down there. I promise there's something for everybody. But that's all I got for now. Until next time, thank you so much for taking a sneakity peek into the good life, a Kadesia kind of normal. I'm so happy to have you here. Bye! Okay, Oof. I am not frightened of myself when I see myself in a mirror. I'm not. I don't think that I scare children. And if I did, I mean, like, those children need to, like, be stronger. <laughs>